really appreciate the opportunity uh, to be here presenting our company uh, through tech, also known as TUTK. So we are from Asia, so I guess we are the only team here from Asia. So um, the, our end, um, we also fo mo fo focus more on the uh, consumer product. So I hope this will help us stand out and separate uh, from other competitors. So, um, sorry, I'm too short. <laughs> okay, so, um, so first I'll um, briefly talk about who we are and what we've been doing. And then I'll introduce our um, IOTC platform. Oops, so which slides? Okay. Um, then uh, I'll talk about the application uh, running on top of this kind of, uh, this platform and uh, finally talk about uh, partners that we've been working with and then sum up. Okay, um, so, um, so we started back in 2008, so we are relatively a young company, and we start uh, by providing P2T uh, connections uh, to help our customer to connect their device together. And over the time, we've transformed into a company providing uh, Internet of Things and uh, M2N solution um, to our cu uh, customers. And we are really um, uh, in this kind of IoT M2N business. So we based in Taipei, Taiwan, and we have um, employees uh, over 100. Um, due to the uh, growth of business, we just doubled the number this, uh, this year. So um, we have four branch offices um, with two offices uh, in Shenzhen and Shanghai in mainland China, and uh, um, also office in Hong Kong and another local branch in Yilan, Taiwan. So, um, so first we'll talk about what we are. So we provide a middleware solution to the IoT and uh, uh, M2M industry. So we provide this solution to um, surveillance company and uh, OTT service provider and, uh, um, uh, and home automation uh, vendor and uh, um, uh, storage, uh, storage device um, uh, manufacturers as well. So we have a very uh, strong presence in, sorry, um, in Asia, especially in China market. So we have a market share of uh, over uh, 70 percent. So, um, so uh, like, uh, there are like about 60 percent of manufacturer in Shenzhen, which is the manufacturing hub um, of IT, IT industry. Uh, they use our solution to provide the um, um, IoT, uh, as an IoT solution. And uh, we also have um, business customers in Japan, Korea, and uh, Singapore. And now we are expanding our, our business into, um, into uh, America, Europe, Russia, and other regions as well. And uh, we provide a complete vertical integration uh, in the entire IoT uh, industry. So we work with the IC designer, chipset manufacturer in the upstream, and also down to the uh, product company, and also um, total solution providers as well. Oh, sorry, this click. Okay. So um, the, as mentioned, we were trying to spend, uh, expand to uh, other regions in the world. So now, uh, since last year, we started to work with companies like Swan and Lorex in the North America. So um, uh, we focused on the end consumer product, so uh, especially for uh, targeting for the home and the small office uh, applications. Um, so since uh, we uh, emphasize our solution to be uh, easy to set up, so it's especially um, good for the DIY product. So the um, uh, uh, end user can easily set up their uh, home automation kit in their uh, in their home, and also for the um, chain store owner, uh, assume you are an owner for like a small chain store with like three doors, so it will be very easy for you to use our solution, our end solution to uh, control and monitor your stores. And uh, because we emphasize this uh, really easy solutions, uh, easy installation, so for us customers, they can really reduce their uh, cost during their, pro uh, during their production and then provide a reduced product to the uh, end customers. So that's what uh, we are really uh, good at. And next, I'll briefly talk about our LTC platform. 
So LTC stands for in channel of thin cloud platform. So um so this is really a very simplified uh, simplified framework. So um, for each device, we will build in uh, the, with the firmware, with a unique ID, a UID, and all this UID will manage it via our cloud server. So we also have a cloud service set up so that all the devices can be introduced via this uh, server to know each other. And for the, um, for the device, it, it can be connected via P2P connection. And also for the end user, uh, client application, they can connect to the device uh, through P2P connection as well. So next, this is uh, probably a very standard setup for all the cloud services. So um, because our um, end product are uh, scattered around the world, so we do have a server set up uh, in, the, um, in the whole world. So in the state, in Asia, and also in um, Europe, and provide this uh, standard requirement for the uh, load balancing, uh, redundancy, and, and uh, scalability. So, um, I, but I want to emphasize one thing uh, to know that, especially in China, due to this specific network environment, so we do have a separate uh, cloud running in China. So that, um, as many of you might have already heard, uh, this kind of gray wall, firewall. So it's very difficult to really run the service to connect outside uh, China. So we do have a separate cloud in China to provide a service in China as well. So um, yeah, since we already talked about Great World, um, about the uh, um, security, so we can uh, emphasize more about the security issues here. This is also one of the important questions asked by a lot of our customers. Do we provide enough security measures for our LTC platform? So um, definitely, um, this kind of measure, it will depend on uh, exactly what kind of device we, uh, we want to apply to our uh, platform. So there are a lot of uh, devices that are really resource constrained. Um, they just use a very simple uh, chipset to set up like an IPCAN. So we do provide a very simple proprietary encryption method. Um, that's especially for those uh, resource constrained devices. But we also provide a more advanced encryption mechanism like a XT or AS128 bit. Um, if the device is powerful enough, uh, to afford this kind of complicated um, encryption uh, method. So I want to um, talk more about what the advantage of using our platform. So uh, first, it's really easy um, to integrate with a lot of different devices because our platform is um, uh, open platform and cross platform system. So um, we already um, integrated with uh, a lot of devices on top of um, different operating systems, like embedded Linux, um, MicroC, real-time operating system, Win32, 30, Win et cetera. So we do have this kind of experience to work with a lot of different uh, firmware or different uh, device manufacturer. So we also have a standard applications uh, based on this uh, platform um, so that our customer can uh, customize uh, um, according to the requirement. So um, for mobile uh, device, Android, iOS, or even for desktop, PC application, yeah, we do have all kinds of application ready for customer to customize. So yes, we do provide a customizable solution for uh, our customers. And we already talked about this network security. So over the time, we need to um, gradually increased uh, level of um, security due to the um, advanced uh, development of the device so that we can afford more complicated encryption, uh, encryption mechanism. So that's is about the easy of setup. Um, because a lot of our end product, really consumer product, like uh, uh, IP cam, so it's really important for the end user to easy to set up this kind of device. So with our um, UID uh, mechanism, we have a QR code that a uh, user can just uh, easily scan the QR code and use their uh, application to set it up. So like just within a couple of minutes, they can connect it to the, uh, to the uh, network. So that's really a very important feature, especially for this kind of consumer market. 
So next, I will talk about what kind of ben other benefits uh, to use our platform here. So first is, of course, the uh, M2N, machine-to-machine uh, -machine communication, because we already have all these devices connected on top of our platform. So we do provide a set of API and a simple protocol, allow the machine to get information from our other machine and to control the machine, um, which we can have a simple demo, but probably not now. <laughs> because we just want to play it safe, but we will have a live demo in our booth tomorrow. And then for the cloud service we set up, we also provide cloud storages um, for like a re uh, video recording. So you can do like a 24 hour daily recording, event trigger recording or scheduled recording. And also uh, file management for, um, for general user. And then we also have the uh, um, um, we also have this power to do this resource to, to do cloud computing, for example, like a video summarization. Uh, for the, because for the 24 hour daily recording, you, user, you don't want to use, it's also impossible for user to watch through all the videos. So, with this kind of sum, summarization mechanism, it would really help the user to reduce the video recording to a few minutes or just uh, an hour of recording. And uh, of course, there's also big data analysis. So we can provide a simple, um, a simple like simple um, log analytics for our customer to analyze um, uh, device usage to understand the distribution of their um, device. But we can also provide some more advanced big data um, uh, analysis as well. We can talk about it later. So this is just a simple static number of our current uh, the status of our current platform. So we have over three million uh, devices connected and 26 million connections uh, every month. So we could have used a little um, animation here because the numbers continue to grow. So next we'll talk about the application used uh, on top of our um, platform. So there are uh, four major applications. First is the over-the-top service. So like a set, uh, set up box and uh, um, uh, media center, home theater, this kind of um, service. And uh, there's also like um, personal cloud storage, um, NAS or um, Wi-Fi storage or uh, any storage, uh, any device with storage capabilities. And then there's this uh, home automation. Uh, so we can uh, uh, work with like um, uh, uh, heat or uh, air conditioning system or, um, or uh, uh, AV system and uh, lighting. And then there's this surveillance, that's where we started for all kind of IP can, uh, uh, baby can, and there's um, like uh, healthcare or security sensors. So this is just a simple scenario for the uh, machine to machine communication running on top of our platform. So imagine you have a Sony TV, talk to a like, uh, Hitachi air conditioner, and then to a D-Link IP camera. And here's another example for the surveillance. The so user can use their uh, Android app to uh, do a live streaming video uh, from the IPK, and the video can record into cloud server or to public cloud, like Dropbox or Google Drive, over to their personal storage. And big data analysis, so we can also uh, connect this to social media, so we already exper uh, have experience for like uh, Facebook, Twitter, and also Weibo in mainland China. And finally, partnership, this is just an um, ecosystem for our solution here. So we work with the uh, chipset uh, manufacturer like Intel, Qualcomm, and then a brand name company, QNEC, Docomo, Swan, and also for all uh, these kind of IP manufacturer and the solution provider. So to sum up, so with our solution, we are really a global market sol uh, solution provider, so we can really help you to go into the um, Asia market, and uh, we do provide cost-efficient method and uh, easy to integrate with our solution. So that's it. Thank you. So um, please see our demo in booth 612. <laughs>